Well, greetings from Philadelphia International Airport. I actually flew out here commercially to uh, Philadelphia on my way to Coatesville to uh, pick up the airplane with the new paint job. So uh, I was going to take you guys along on the ride for the uh, flight out here, but you would have seen a grown man whimpering and complaining about flying commercial. I didn't think that would uh, go over real well on the video, so I skipped that part and uh, just getting ready to get in my car. So now I want to bring up on screen here uh, DeWitt. So DeWitt, come on over. Hey, thanks a lot for a really great paint job. You're quite well. I, I literally don't recognize the airplane. I'm totally, totally stoked about it. But uh, one of the reasons that I came to Surefly here in Coatesville was your guys' extensive experience with composite and composite airframes. A lot of your helicopter work is composite. So this aircraft, the Premier, is a composite fuselage which you have to handle a little bit differently than what uh, what you did perhaps on Dan's Mooney. So sure. how does that, how is it different? Well, the big thing is the, the whole tubular airframe of this is, is, is just that, it's carbon fiber. And a lot of shops are scared to death of carbon fiber because you can't put chemical strip over on it. And if you do, you'll destroy it because it actually takes the resins out of the carbon fiber. Ooh. So when we strip these, which we did, you don't, you mechanically strip it. So the whole thing gets sanded. So the whole aircraft, by hand. Be, it all gets sanded by hand with a dead orbital sander, and that's how you take it down. You take it down to the original primer, as long as that's got good adhesion. If, if not, you even take it farther than that and you go right to the composite base. Wow. So you're starting from scratch. The other thing with the Premier, with, because of this, this aircraft and it being pressurized, you're very limited to the mill thick, thickness of the paint, so you have to strip it down. You'll go to a shop that might uh, say, oh yeah, we can do it, and they just scuff it and shoot it. Well, it might look great, but it's not going to last because yeah. the mill thickness is it's too thick, and when this thing pressurizes, it just wants to act, literally blow the paint off the aircraft. And I've seen a fair number of so, uh, premieres that don't have yes. what I would consider to be good adhesion with the paint. Correct. I don't know the reason why, but perhaps yeah. that's what happens. That is, that is why. You just it, It's very critical for the mill thickness on this stuff. And it's, it's, I reiterate it because it, that's yeah. how important it is for this airframe. Now, the wings, of course, are you know aluminum, sure. so they're, you can actually chemically strip them. Because of this aircraft, we don't because mm -hmm. it, it's you don't want to take any chance of getting any chemical onto the composite so we actually mechanically stripped this whole oh, wow. aircraft. okay i didn't yeah. know that yeah yeah, yeah. oh and didn't so, send me those pictures yeah, yeah. <laughs> so very intense a lot yeah. of lot of labor hours involved in yeah. it that's why you know we, you, when we do people people kind of go with it's, it's how much and it's like well yeah it's a lot of work right right yeah so yeah. but we 
we're used to working with composite materials. Sure. So we're, you know, other like I said, you get shops that are scared to death of them. Right. We're not. You know, for us, it's it's just common. It's, yeah, it's I was surprised that uh, I've seen the Sikorsky and some of the Augusta yeah. helicopters, how much composite those aircraft oh. have on them. A lot of composite. Yeah, yeah so, absolutely. But for these, it's, it's so for us, this is this is nothing. Yeah. And then another thing you guys did was I, I don't know if it's going to show up on the video, but the uh, the paint surface actually has a, a fair amount of what I would consider to be metallic. I don't know if you guys call that pearl. This is actually or... a pearlescent instead okay. of metallic, and and pearlescents have become very popular now in the aviation because of the metallic finishes. You have to worry about radar interference and mm -hmm. some, some of the radios and, and things don't don't care for the metallic paint. Yep. So what you've done is you've gone to pearlescence. And pearlescence give you the same look. Actually, a lot of times it's a much deeper look. Right. And you can get it to lay out so much nicer than, Very than nice. metallic. Yeah, it's crazy so easy. I, I yeah. know that from my previous airplane, I know that one of the things the maintainers hate about a, a shiny metallic right. pearlescent right. finish right. is when they pop a screw loose and break the surface of the paint correct now all of a sudden they've got to come back and touch that up and it and never works out just right. no it's a nightmare and one of the things that we did and you you listen to us is if you look on inspection panels these panels are all removed during the prep and paint process and then when we put it back in we put them back in with unpainted new stainless hardware so now ease of maintenance for your mechanics when this thing goes in for an annual or inspections they pull the panel off they're not destroying the paint finish they're not worrying about touching it up yep and it's just care it, this is just so much easier to care for yeah. right yeah. right the, the other thing that we do because of the pearlescence is of course you have to clear pearls pearls you can't just shoot and just as a as a base coat and walk away it has to get a clear coat over it. so in doing that one of the things we do, and we take a lot of pride here in, is not only did we just clear the pearl, we clear it all. So if, if you run your hand across this and feel it, you can't feel the stripes. Right. Because what it does is, now what that also does is it gives you such a nice depth of image for your material. Yep. And the gloss, and you see the finish. The other thing is, is if you get a little scratch on it when you're in for maintenance. Sure. They're scratching the clear coat. They're not necessarily scratching your pigment. Yeah. Well, you can polish clear. When you polish pigment, you actually you're scar removing. it. Yeah, okay. you're, you're actually removing paint Correct. from that, aren't you? Correct. Yeah. yeah, yeah. One of the other things that we do is, is, is we have a graphics guy. We do all the graphic work in-house. And like this, this is all put on, and this is put on before the aircraft gets the overall clear coat. So all this is underneath the clear. This will never fade. This will never wear. So it, this will look like new until you decide yeah. to upgrade or right or redo Never. it because you want to change the color again <laughs> yeah. But yeah so it, it's something that we do in-house and we yeah. push it to the customers so the logos the uh, all the placarding yeah. is done the same way yeah I saw that so That's really nice. instead of it getting weathered or even like this for fuel right. purposes you could you'll never hurt it yeah it'll stay like that forever that's fantastic but, yeah. all right so, yeah we took the guys took a lot of pride in this it's a beautiful paint scheme I'll take credit, but my son, <laughs> my son did the layout work on this. Oh, nice! I, that I didn't know. And I'm very, yeah. I'm very proud of that. And, yeah. And I have a great crew across the board. Yeah. And uh, this yeah. is one sharp aircraft. So, well, I, so, I don't, so. I don't know if it really translates on video, <laughs> but I, I tell you, it looks spectacular. I, I honestly have not seen a, a prettier paint job. It, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's the only bad thing about today is, is we were hoping it was going to be this beautiful <laughs> sunny know, day because this blue pearl outside. Being a pearlescent, as the sun hits it at different yeah. angles, it completely changes the colors of the pearl, and you'll get to admire it when right. you get it out on a sunny day. And when you go to when you pull up to somebody's ramp, yeah, I guarantee you're going to get comments about it, yeah, because it's just it's a phenomenal look. Yeah, yeah. oh, it looks so, great. Yeah, so. Well, thanks again, Dwight. I was, really appreciate it. You guys it was, did a great job. It was, it was,